classics Let's go to the movies and share some popcorn Soda pop with our friends Turn off our cell phones and get away Night or day, it's John DeSando on the radio we'll Watch the credits from a pilot Cinema classics on end Cinema Classics is produced by John DeSando. It airs Thursdays at 8.01 p.m. on WCBE 90.5 FM. Listen to the shows and read reviews online at WCBE.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Wayne the Equalizer Man. <laughs> and this is Cinema Classics. It is. Wow, Equalizer. Three of them so far with Den yes. Denzel. And I believe Equalizer 3 is the last one. And from what I've heard, yeah. But uh, I enjoyed this movie. I saw the first one, John, but I didn't see the second one, which there's a part of that that plays into this one. So over the weekend, I went to the Red Box kiosk and rented it, um, and uh, which really kind of explained a little bit about the role of one of my favorite young actresses in this movie, Dakota Fanning. She's not young anymore. No. No, still cute as a butt. Yeah, yeah. And on um, Facebook, um, I saw a photo of her with Denzel Washington, two photographs, a present day one, and one back when they made the movie Man on Man, Fire, yeah. when he was a, a, another like ex-cop or secret agent, something like that, that was hired to, uh, uh, as a bodyguard for a very young uh, Dakota Fanning. It was cute seeing a photo uh, next to each other. And I tell you, Denzel really hasn't changed that much. He hasn't. He's durable. And, yes. and you know, Equalizer 3, he's he's still the uh, government assassin, but he's retired. Yes. But you, these guys don't retire. No. I mean, here he is, laughably, the only American in this Amalfi town. Yes. <laughs> Ah, the only one. Yeah, and they're a black own, American to begin yeah, with. <laughs> they're, they're a little tongue in cheek. Yeah. And he's hanging out, yeah. getting to like these people, and who wouldn't? Yeah. Considering the waitress and, and other people who are eyeballing him. Yes. He's, 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 and, he's, and the guy has charm to burn. Oh, charm and charisma oh, out to yin yang. Yeah, I mean, he does such a good job, and he's so natural at it. Oh, too. yeah, he's really He's very, not very uh, forced. Um, with uh, his portrayal of uh, Robert McCall. Yeah, in fact, well, it started in the 80s with a TV series, right? Exactly. Uh, John, I was going to bring that up, 1985 yeah. to 89, with a British actor who played Robert McCall called um, uh, uh, The Equalizer. Yeah. And it was the same thing, a retired secret agent, government assassin, spy, whatever, and in this, in the premise of that one, he put an ad in the paper like, "If you need help, you know, basically people getting picked on by gangs or, you know, uh, 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 crime, you know, yeah. the criminal element." And currently, Queen Latifah. And TV. John, you're absolutely right. And I watched for the first time an episode of that it was on uh, Ch uh, CBS last night at oh. uh, nine o'clock, and I watched it, and she was really quite good in the role, and her name is Robin McCall. Right, right, Robin yeah. McCall. And uh, so it was, I thought, I should watch this a little bit more because it really was pretty enjoyable. <laughs> well, the equalizer will always be Denzel Washington. Yeah. No matter yeah. who plays yeah. it. And then this one, uh, he is, he is super cool. And the, it is a, as much a, uh, what? Um, uh, to travel. It's much a travel oh, on this beautiful, the beautiful town beautiful. on the beautiful. coast. Yes, and, and some scenes of other places. I yeah. think of like Naples and yeah, stuff and like Naples. that. I believe Rome possibly but too. But the small town, yeah. the small Amalfi town is just figuratively, of course, whitewashed. It is all white buildings on the yes. side of a mountain. Yes. <laughs> and he can splatter a little bit of red all around there. Uh, which, which he does. <laughs> which he uh, does. Uh, and the guy, what always cracks me up, uh, and I remember from the first movie, and in all three movies, he'd retire, but he would stumble across a crime scene or something and would want to help out the people, you know, uh, kind of their lone avenger. 
What I, I like, and this is director Antoine Fuqua, who has done five yes. films with him. Yes. Uh, the two of them are, are real buds. Yeah. And what I like is, as Denzel is sitting there, as we would do, sitting there at a small cafe, yeah. eating the delicious food and, and delighting in the people watching, yeah. he, his eyes dart yeah. around. Yeah. And, and you, you can, can see the yourself. wheels are turning. Yeah. 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 He's looking and watching transactions going yeah. on, and he quickly figures out they're running drugs. Yeah. And and they is not just anybody, it's the freaking mafia. Yes. R not only running drugs, but extorting. You know, they have kind oh, of like oh, extortion oh, right. going on and all the poor yeah. business owners like the one uh, baker or whatever that he gets oh, yeah, with, yeah. you know, had the restaurant and everything. But what's so cool is he decides when it's time to act, <laughs> he goes and he uh, uh, Puts his oh, well, I love on the watch. I love this. Yes, which he, uh, I remember that one from the first um, uh, first uh, Equalizer. The other <laughs> personality quirk that I really get kind of a kick out. He must be kind of a bit of a neat freak because as he sits there with his like little cup of tea because he likes tea, and then he takes the napkins and sp carefully spreads the napkins <laughs> around the table, and I. I uh, couldn't remember that from the first movie, but that is uh, one of those uh, like little running motifs. Well, yeah, as you and I will complain, but you don't complain as much as I do. In the trailer, one of the very best scenes yes. when he confronts one of the mafia there, in the, in the, and uh, he uses yeah. his, his watch. Yes. You, you have nine seconds. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This. Yeah. Love whatever this motif is. <laughs> But in that fight scene, when he sticks the barrel, the, uh, the gun, into the guy's eyeball <laughs> and turns around, it's almost like from his point of view, as he, uh, and you see the guy's face with the gun sticking out of his eyeball, and uh, McCall shoots a guy <laughs> through the back of the head of this right. guy's skull. I'm a, and shoots the other, another guy right through his head. Yes. He gets, he gets one of the other mafia. <laughs> yeah, but one of them, I th uh, is he, um, I think it's the, uh, one of the Mafia guy's uh, uh, credit cards, one of those real fancy credit cards that, uh, and Nicole's looking at and says, oh, he said, I, I've heard about these, I've never seen any of these, well then when he gets into the fight, he uses that, you know, to slash that guy. Well, you know, it, it, the scene card. where he's pressuring this guy's arm. Oh, uh, yeah. He, he yeah. gets his arm by asking him if that's a Timex he's wearing. And of course the guy is insulted. He, he wants to show him this. And, and Denzel captures his arm. And, and a little nerve. Pressuring. Whoa. A little nerve between the forefinger and the thumb. <laughs> and he says, now, uh, the pain could go up to 10. This is a 2. This is a 2. And this is a 4. Right. Now, do you want to go higher? Right. He said, you'll do something at something yeah. at Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Like, basically, you must like, nobody will like. <laughs> yes, so it it has yeah. a sense of humor, but it does have a great sense right, of humor. But but it's not hilarious. No, it's just simply that that kind of menace underneath. Everybody, it's all menacing. Which is really what we get at such a big hoot out of some of these action films, particularly with ones like Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, you know, and some of the. The one-liners and uh, side comments that make the movie enjoyable, but I couldn't imagine. I mean, you know, it's kind of like uh, adding a little bit of uh, levity uh, to uh, extremely violent scenes. And, and there's another really positive part of these is that we don't mess around with romance. Yeah, it's hidden there. Yeah, uh, as I alluded to, the very some attractive ladies who are hovering around him at the cafe, uh, but he. <laughs> He, he yeah. it's just, it's, that's not what he's there for. No. And he does not abide it. Uh, the relationship he has with the town doctor is a really yes. nice. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Um, and of course he winds up, you know, the beginning of the film, he's on, I think, maybe a mission for, uh, maybe the government, but then uh, he's injured and he winds up on this One of the island. few times he is right, he's shot in the back. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and the doctor and it takes a while for him to recover. He's limping around, and we know, uh, John. We had our share of really, steps uh, throughout, throughout Europe, <laughs> um, and I could identify with uh, them walking up. You know, countless flights of steps. And you are so right. Little town. I'm remembering our trips 
in particular in Portugal oh, recently. Oh. Uh, and I'm remembering as the camera follows him up there and saying, boy, I'll need my cane on this one. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and it, has the, it has the beauty, it has the menace, uh, it has so many good qualities that filmmaking, uh, without being terribly sophisticated, is just really very competent. Well, and what's kind of cool, the one thing too, kind of a, a trope that they taken from the Rocky movies, as he slowly recovers and gains his strength, and um, uh, 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 begins to run up these steps and stuff like that. So it's almost like in the Rocky movies, where Rocky, you know, uh, puts himself in the training and is running around, and you see him, his uh, uh, physical prowess increasing. Well, Wayne Miller. Yeah, we beat this uh, one. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> people people can tell or audience can tell we've just started. Yes. And so we'll direct them to our double take podcast, which yep. is on the WCVE, the podcast experience. Yes. And I believe we'll probably talk more about Denzel's career. Yep. And, uh, but meanwhile, Wayne, what do you advise our audience for Equalizer 3? I would recommend it, even if you hadn't. Like I said, I'd seen the first one, but it came out, I think, in 2014, and the second one was 2018. And so it's been like nine years since I'd seen the first one. The second one, uh, I read it after I saw the third one. Uh, I'd say you don't have to even have seen any of them to enjoy the movie. I would recommend it. Classics, let's go to the movies and share some popcorn, soda pop with